guys, it's Angela. As you can see, I already did the inner corner and the sides of my wall with the 3D self-adhesive tile stickers. Um, you can see how I do it on the other video on DIYKitchenRebound.com. And now, I just to say hello, hello, <laughs> it's just really me. Um, just now, I hit the hard part, so around the sockets. And I was worried about it, I might put it slightly closer so you can maybe see better. And so I was worried about it, so I thought I searched the internet before I started doing that. And there is a couple of pages with the different ideas. So the first idea is to cut, uh, just to attach the tile sticker and cut around it. Um, and yes, that method works but it works on the vinyl tile stickers. Um, what we're dealing with at the moment is the 3D gel tile stickers. So the difference is they're much thicker than the vinyl. So let me show you with the vinyl tile sticker what they mean. So you take the vinyl tile sticker, as you can see it's kind of thin. And I'm just going to do it roughly so you see what I mean. I already did my feature wall with the vinyl tile stickers and again you can see how I do it on the DIY kitchen revamp. So what they mean is you put the vinyl tile sticker, obviously you flatten that and then with the sharp knife you just cut around it. And as obviously I'm doing that roughly now so it's not perfect if you will do it all your wall with that. You'll probably do a much better job if you take your time and everything. That's what they meant. So you put it with the sharp knife around it, and as I said, as you can see, it does work. But the problem is, this is really thin vinyl tile sticker. And again, what we're dealing with at the moment is the 3D self adhesive um, gel stickers, which are much thicker. So when I did the other side of my wall, uh, of my kitchen, uh, I tried to do it that way. And the problem is, Again, it's too thick to do it, so even to cut the sides to fit the bottom or the sides of everything, you need to run your knife through a couple of times. And you might see, I've got a couple of knives here. They're all new and even the really sharp, they don't do the job. Let me show you, I've got some offcuts here, <clears throat> so you'll be able to see. So again, I'm just going to do it roughly. So, let me just find that one. There you go. I'm going to attach that one again, just roughly. Say, for example, like that, flatten the surface. And now it's a sharp knife. <clears throat> and you probably hit that. And you might see that I do struggle to cut through that. I did cut through that, but you see how difficult it is to even go through that. Again, so it needs at least a couple of times and I already made a mistake and didn't go through the first cut. So I end up having a couple of cuts. So yes, it would slightly works, but I think you might make more mistakes with that and you will waste um, some of the, well this is obviously an off cut, but you might waste some of the tiles just to do that. And this around here, it's quite straight and it does have a little gap, so yeah, if you get the knife through, it might be easy to go um, through the tile, but again, it's kind of thick, as you can see, so it's difficult to cut straight through that. And the second method was to take a piece of paper, so from any of the already used tiles, and then cut kind of a template of it. So you, as you can see, I've got the bottom straight, I've got the side straight, and then they tell you to keep it straight. Cut it again with your knife, and this paper is slightly thicker as well. So again, you end up having a bit rough version of the template, which I find, um, yeah, it works. But then that means I have to have that template, 
measure that with the roller and then transfer my measurements to my actual uh, piece which I thought, well, this is double the work, and at the end of the day, I still have to measure that anyway. So I thought, you know, waste of time. Again, I did that from the other wall, and just a waste of time, double the time, basically. So, um, and I'm a busy woman, so I need the time that I can get. Um, so I did the easiest, but unfortunately, the most demanding uh, way. So you take your uh, 3D tile sticker, you measure the bottom, make sure it fits right, so it's still it's still on a paper so it's not glue on, there you go, so I measure making sure the bottom fits properly, and then I did it my way basically, so with the knife, I measure slightly the top, making sure my finger is moving, I'm measuring this side as well. Uh, you can take a pencil if you want to or you can do it with the knife again mine is really sharp so I'll make little marks I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to see so the mark is here and then on the other side as well on the top which is here and then I'm going to cut it. So I do the bottom first and again, the ruler helps me to guide the straight line. Um, well, if you trust yourself, you can use the scissors. I don't trust myself. Shake your hands time to time. So I thought I'll just do it with the ruler. Um, let me just put you slightly lower so you can see. So I'm putting a bit of pressure on that. So it's straight and staple. There you go. And as you can see, I need to do it a couple of times. Just to make sure I get the line through. And yeah, boom. And then I'm doing the top as well now. Again, I need to go through a couple of times. This is quite thick. There you go. I measure that once again, and I can already see that I didn't cut enough. It's better to cut not enough, <laughs> so not enough space. That I cut slightly too much, you can't really attach that one, so you basically just waste a sheet of tile sticker. And then I just do the little um, bit in here, and let's see now. There you go, that's much better. I will do a little from the bottom as well, literally, just a tiny, tiny bit. There we go, let's zoom out. Maybe a little bit more. I'm going to use the scissor just to a little bit. So with the scissors it's easy just to cut a tiny bit because you already got the line on and you just following that one. There you go. So that should fit. Ta -da! And then you just stick that on. So unfortunately the easiest way is the hardest way and that's what I'm recommending. Again, if you've got the vinyl type stickers, feel free to do it with, with the knife around. With the 3D gel stickers, unfortunately, you need a bit more patience and a slightly bit more time. So, good luck, guys, and I get away with that. And um, again, if you wanted to see how I do it, the rest of the wall and the vinyl feature wall, um, check the DIYKitchenRevamp.com. Good luck, guys. Bye.